anything that transpired, Mary, that like say like even though we know all this is going on. Like, we don't know when, when that happened with Steven. You wasn't there. Good thing Steven was smart enough to say, get the hell on, that, uh, Steve. Did Steven call Steve's dad, or did he call him Steve? Stephen, when Steve came into his life, four. Damn. Mm -hmm. four. You know that, and so how old was he when Steve walked out of his life? Mm. Nineteen, I think. Wow. He was dead the majority of his life, and then so when he went to his new prominent life. He never looked back at Stephen at all. Uh, he, uh, he, he disarmed Stephen because Stephen wouldn't lie for him. That's what happened. <laughs> Is that right? He, uh, he knew. Stephen the same after that? Oh man, he didn't have two words to say to Stephen after that. And so he was, was he more so worried about his relationship with you or how he was going to look to the world? temper, the anger management, because to tell somebody they got to go to anger management, I'm like, like, you had to be having some real severe problems going on. So when did you know he would need anger management? I know it had to be. And another thing, did he beat Winter like that? Why, you said you would always take Winter away. Had he ever beaten Winter like he did that time? Never? No, he was not getting Winter until we got divorced. Wow. Because I, I couldn't see him. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know. He was violent towards him. After the divorce, he might have got it, you know, he might have got it in his little face. Said, oh, hey, you know. And I'm like, no, no, you're going to have to handle this one way. I just, I just like, I think I thought about Steven so many times and look at it like he don't even really know how he damaged that baby. 
and you don't know what you, you put in his heart because to see him going on, he done raised him since four years old. You know, he's still a good guy, but I know that had to affect him in some type of way, you know? That's going to affect him. I'm pretty sure it still bothers him. You know, you have somebody to do that to you. First, he did me dirty, you know, just people that would deal with that. Well, yeah, I mean, if you see somebody that's your father and then they come do this, yeah, that is exactly what it is. It was all me, and worse than that, you heard my mom. Look what you're doing to my mother. You know, she had to get over it. Well, yeah, I mean, and then you got the cops on her, you got the judges on her, you know. What, what Stephen be afraid to speak out? Stephen be afraid to speak out about what he did to his mother. Stephen be afraid to speak out I just wanted to out of curiosity. No, I just, you know, like sometimes, I, I mean, like, like people go through things. Like you see your baby went to, you know he's not right. You know something's broken in him and ain't nothing you can do to fix it. As a mother, I looked at all the type of things. When I even came across your case, I said, what? can I do, not just an activist, as a mother, a person who knows is being violated. And when I saw one lie, I saw two. Shit, I saw lies on every piece of paperwork all through that, through and through, through and through, through and through, through and through. Anything, anytime you're into uh, court or law, court is law, whatever, you know, and you're in Yeah. 